Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a hover effect for the button blocks in your Squarespace website. We're gonna take a look at how to change different things about this button on a hover, and I'll teach you how to target by button type and how to use a block ID to target one specific button at a time. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in my demo site. I'm using version 7.1. That's what this tutorial is designed for, but this main code will also work in older versions. This right here is the main code you can use to add a hover effect to any on-page button block. Now in 7.1, we have primary, secondary, and tertiary. That's what we're gonna work with, and I'll teach you how to target these individually and how to use a block ID so you can target one specific button on your website. But for right now, we're gonna use this main code here and we're gonna change the border, background color, give it a box shadow, and change the font on a hover. So let's navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. Now these are just some suggestions. Code is super customizable, so I wanna encourage you to get really creative here. But I'm gonna go ahead and paste this code open up a curly bracket and let's say border color purple exclamation point important. Now, if I remove the word hover, every button on this page will get a purple border. You can see how primary has a purple one, so does secondary and so does tertiary. If I add hover, that will only happen when I hover over a button. You can kind of see the purple next to the solid black background there. It's a little hard to see, but it is purple, I promise. Hovering over primary, secondary, and tertiary. Now let's change that background color as well. I'm gonna add a semicolon, and I'm gonna say background color, and this time we'll use a hex color code. This is one of my favorite shades of teal, and I'll say exclamation point important to make sure the browser knows this is the code I want you to read. And now when we hover over those buttons, we're getting a purple border and a teal background. I do want to mention really quickly, you can get really creative with borders. I just threw border color in here as an example, but there's a link in the description below to an article on my blog that talks about all the different types of border codes you can make, dotted and dashed and offset and inset, lots of options there to adjust the size, color, and style. So definitely check that out if you want some ideas for creative borders. All right. We also have box shadow listed here, so let's add a semicolon, and I'll say box shadow. Uh, we'll give it a vertical offset, horizontal, a little bit of a blur and a spread, and I'll go ahead and make it a light gray color. And we'll add exclamation point important just to make sure the browser pays attention to our code. Not always necessary with a box shadow, but I always like to be extra careful to make sure it works. So now when we hover over those buttons, We've got a border color of purple, a background color of teal, and a box shadow. Now, last but not least, I listed font. You have a ton of options here. We can make the font bold on a hover. Uh, you can also change the letter spacing or the font family. Lots of different options there, but let's go ahead and just make that font bold. You'll notice the text becomes bold when we hover over every single button. Pretty cool, right? All right, I'll go ahead and select save because I've got just a little bit more to teach you. I wanna show you how to target just the primary, just the secondary, or just the tertiary buttons, and how to target an individual button. In Squarespace 7.1, each one of these buttons has a unique selector that we can use to target that style of button specifically. And interestingly enough, they actually have two code names that we could use. I've listed these in the description below, but I wanna show you how this works here. So if you wanna target just the primary button, you can say SQS block button element dash dash primary before the word hover. Now just the primary button will get that hover effect that we created. You can also say SQS block button element medium. That's what it used to be called. And that code still works in 7.1. Here's an example for the secondary button, which used to go by the name SQS block button element large. Now check it out, just the secondary button is getting that effect. And last but not least, we have SQS button element tertiary, which used to go by small. You can use either one in your code and you'll get that hover effect for just that button. So last but not least, I wanted to show you how to target one specific button using its block ID. Let's say you want a hover effect for just one instance of a button on a Squarespace website. So not every secondary button, but just one specific one. If you use this free Chrome extension that I've linked to in the description below, 
you can grab the block ID for that button. Grabbing that block ID tells the browser only do this for this specific thing. But here's the trick. We can't just say add that hover effect to the block. Look at what happens. You get a hover effect on the whole block, which is not what we want. So that's when we've got to use SQS block button element. Yes, you can use one of these selectors down here as well, calling it out by primary, tertiary, large, small, medium, whatever you'd like, or just the general SQS block button element. And now we'll get that effect on just that specific button, not on any of the other ones. So use the block ID first, and then say SQS block button element, and then say hover, and then apply all of the code changes that you want to see. So just a quick recap, if you want to target every button block on your site, just say SQS block button element hover. If you want to target just the primary buttons and not the other ones, you can use either one of these selectors. Secondary and tertiary have their own nicknames too. And if you want to target something specifically, grab its block ID and place that at the beginning of your code, making sure you still say SQS block button element hover. Then you can target one specific button on your site. Whatever you decide to do, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, the codes I just shared are listed in the description below. Just make sure you're using the right selector or code name for the button that you're trying to add that hover effect to. Now, I also have some additional trainings on things like newsletter sign up buttons or the button in the header of your Squarespace website. Check out the related videos linked below to learn more about customizing those. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a like and a comment if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.